Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with a new video. I've been messing around a bit with the flip flops and I came up with uh, a couple of designs. This is the first one, it's quite fast. All one white design. One click on, one click uh, sorry, one click off, one click on. That's basically what a T flip flop does, if you're unfamiliar with it. It translates a pulse into a steady output. Um, this is the design. You need that lever down there to power, to give power to the block. Um, basically, what is happening? It's creating a very short pulse, which will leave the drop the the block down there. And again, a very short pulse to that one, to that piston, and that pulls it back. That's sort of a piston mechanics being used to create a T flip flop, which is not really uh, anything new. Um, what's nice about it, though, is you have the one one end, you have the input, and on one other side, you have the output. So that's pretty nice. Then moving on, I came up with the most derpy T flip flop design ever, which is this design. It's uh, four by no, actually like five by three. It might seem like four by three, but it's not. Let me show you why. Um, it's uh, I call it the ruffle flop. Um, it's sort of an, an adaptation of uh, CMB uh, CMB's uh, sand uh, sand sister. So. Uh, yeah, it's uh, quite interesting <laughs> the way the sticky pistons interact with each other. And I'm definitely going to be doing some more research in uh, other uses on this. But uh, yeah, pulls down, sand falls down, unpowers, pushes back up, and powers back on again. So quite interesting uh, design. But then we move on to this very, very nice one wide 4x4 stackable T flip flop design. Stackable, yes, I said it. Um, it's something that I will be needing uh, in my next puzzle challenge, so that's why I made it. Um, one clicky turns it on, and another clicky turns it off. So, quite useful, and as you can see, there's no redstone dust anywhere, so you can just stack this design next to each other, which I did. Which brings us to this, so that's basically just this design stacked next to each other, and as you can see some of the stuff is already activated, but uh, if I were to click that one, and that one now will turn off, and if I click it again, it will turn back on. So, stackable one white T flip flop design, uh, quite rare, and if you get them, they're, don't, they're not often uh, this compact, so that is uh, useful, but not in the exact form I need it. So that brings me to this design with some nice indicator lights, because always everything I do must have indicator lights. And I hope you guys agree. If you click a button, like a T flip flop, you want to know that it's been triggered. Um, so this can be used in any apparatus or machine that uh, has options or yeah, indicator lights when turned on. So stackable design, it's 6x6, uh, six six. this is just the output, but yeah, you can just fire that wherever you want. Lots of pistons, I can show you how it works. When it toggles, um, this powers off, which retracts both the pistons. Um, I'm using a glowstone lamp to power the piston below there, so it's updating the, the butt is updating basically. And um, there's actually also a uh, reset line which I also will be needing so one click and turns them all on which is perfect for what I use it for in the next puzzle um, but yeah stack it as far as you want use it any way you want I will be adding the schematic in the description of the video and I will thank you all uh, for watching so uh, yeah be sure to like this video uh, if you haven't subscribed already please do and uh, I guess I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.